wanted to come on here and show you guys bare face how I do my edges how I make no edges or very thin edges look like presentable basically it's not a miracle but it will help a lot okay let's get started the first thing I do is um, any type of holding gel this is something I got this isn't typically what I use but you can use like glue this is the gorillas glue and I use a toothbrush I always clean the top and so what we're gonna do is if you want I hope you are um, oiling your edges every night you can use some coconut oil like I do and I'll do that at night again and the reason why my edges are thin is because the hairstyle I had so that's why I'm doing this protective style and I will not always do this but I will do it probably for the first week of my hair being done these crochet braids y'all like them anyway so what I do is I grab me some pomade you can do edge control any type of gel to your liking and what I will do is I'll put it lightly on here because I don't want it to crust over and become white or anything I haven't had any issues with this particular gel and I'll use what I'm I'll put what I'm using in the description box So now we're going to use this, a comb. You can use the brush, but when my edges are thin like this, I prefer not to use it right away. And what you're going to do now, you're going to swoop this baby exactly how you want it. And for the side, you can either curve it all down or do one last swoop and put down the excess. I'm probably going to have to fix that in this mirror because I can't really see that good um, right here. Be careful. I hold it down. It looks like a big bruise, so I don't think someone's here going wild or anything. That's another reason why the comb is important because you have to do what the comb says. And that's exactly why I do this before I put on any makeup or anything. And I'm gonna go back over at the top because we this. This little part right here is so important. A little swoopy doop. Now at this time, if you have like a head scarf or something, and you got a little bit of setting um, foam, that'll be a perfect time to do that. However, I do not have one. And so I'm gonna go over it again with a thin layer of gel again this is to keep my hair from curling up because I don't have a scarf to wrap it down at this point if you have a scarf please use it now this is my secret I don't know if anybody else knows this but I know this is what I have been doing I get my toothbrush I get me some black hairspray you know from the black girl beauty supply store and this is called Hot Beans Intense. And I just missed it. Like that. Very lightly. And what I do is run over it. See, I did it too much. But if you do, just put it, dab it right there. And I go over it again. And I definitely messed that up. But don't worry, I will fix that. 
you gotta do this very lightly like it's hard for me to show you on camera because I'm used to having my hands down here but something like like not full out sprays not sh sh but barely tabbing it okay and I'm just gonna dab this because I still feel like and I feel in like little spots that may be very very uh gone-ish <laughs> Fucked up, however you want to call it. Like, seriously. And then I just fill it in. Like, until you get the hang of spraying it, just be dabbing it like that. <clears throat> Closer to the actual braid. And then I'll swoop it over. And for this right here, where I messed up and it's just a patch, it's a serious patch of just black right there, I'm gonna go ahead and get some more gel and continue to sway that out until I'm happy with it. And like, you see that empty area? That's really good for just grabbing it in. Dabbing it, dabbing it, dabbing it, dabbing it, dabbing it. Let me give you like. You feel me? And swoop it out again. And same for this part. So when I'm done, I'm happy with it because I for sure don't want it to look like I sprayed any black spray on my head because we all don't know, know that that's not cool. And I just fill that in. Any areas that I'm unhappy with, I just dab it. Dab, dab, dab. Okay, ladies, so I'm full on happy with this. And that's how I'm able to rock my hair up even when my edges are thin. And like right now, I wouldn't say they're thin to me right now, they're gone. You know, some hair there is gone. No hair there is, you don't have no edges at all. So, I know I'm not the one to make that judgment, but that's what I believe it is. And that way, even if I wanted to, I could still take some pictures. It makes my front of my head look a decent size. Let me, let me say this first. This is the reason why I do it first because all this crusty hair I will grab a one of these put a little oil on it put a little water on it whatever you want to do and I just clean it up and I clean my edge up from all the crusties If you have alcohol, that's really good too. And I just clean it up. If you do that with your makeup on, trust me, it's gonna run over into it. And that might not be what you want. Okay, ladies, so I'm getting ready to step out. And I just wanna show you my edges when I do them when I'm not fooling with something in my hands or anything and I'm really paying attention to them. I can really get them slayed the way I want. Let me know if this works for you. And like always, like, share, and subscribe.